Hi everyone, a very good morning and welcome to a new daily market outlook. So there was not a daily market outlook for the past few days and that had to do with the reason that I had some family issues. So yeah, we're just resolving that. But for the rest, I'm back and let's dive into the market, see what is going on and see where the major dollar pairs are going to be heading next. <music> Starting off with the dollar index, the dollar index is currently, of course, very bullish. As we can see, we closed above that swing high. And pretty much exactly as I've been saying to you all for the past three weeks, what we saw is that we went down towards the bottom of this range, took out the liquidity, and after that saw a reversal back up in towards the highs to take out the liquidity above these highs. But because of the fact that this liquidity got taken out first and all these stop losses got hit initially and market structure overall was bullish, I, of course, was waiting and explained to you guys that we were waiting now for the next move up. And as we can see, that has exactly happened so currently looking at the daily on the daily we've also seen a break of structure on this high over here we've seen a close above it and it does mean that we now have a new swing low over here at 97685 so what do I expect what well, the moment I'm going to be waiting for this area of supply to get hit and from there I expect a reaction but I can clearly see that there's liquidity located over here above this high as we can see this high trying to take at the high this high tries to take at the high but all failed in doing so meaning that there's a lot of liquidity over here I do expect that to get taken out in the near future so from where can I look for longs well if I look at this four hour there are multiple areas of demand this being one of them after that this being one of them and after that, I would say this being one of them. So these are kind of the free zones that I'm going to be looking at for if the dollar index makes a pullback from where we can be looking for a continuation of the overall trend. So that said, let's head over to Aussie dollar. And Aussie dollar, so Aussie dollar broke above all these highs. As we can now see, that means that the daily is now bullish. So as we can currently see, this high got taken out over here daily break of structure and what we're now looking at is a potential pullback from this area of consolidation so over here this is your kind of range supply so expecting and as we can already see we already saw a reaction to it but expecting a potential pullback from there before looking for any continuation on that daily time frame for the rest for our hideous hideous price action not looking to trade it at all only once this structure over here for instance were to break could we then look for potential shorts from supply so i'm just disregarding aussie dollar for now so with that said let's have to euro dollar and euro dollar so euro dollar i was already explaining to the community a lot of people looking for longs over here but we didn't see any liquidation happen so no trades from me very very easy way to prevent those losses from coming so yeah not a very uh, not a very good great setup and therefore skipped by me and of course the others who I explained this to but looking at the overall four hour at the moment the four hour is bullish so we could see a potential reaction to I would say this daily zone over here but we've already seen a reaction to that zone in the past located over here so yeah I mean it's not very interesting at all uh, I do expect your dollar to start falling down even lower in the near future so with that said, let's head over to pound dollar and pound dollar, pound dollar uh, was looking for further upside from this pair and we could still see it from this area of demand located over here. So let's see liquidation happening on this low, see a further push up to liquidate this high because as we can see, we just saw a reversal back down at this clean move, meaning there was no liquidation. So in my opinion, we still need to liquidate the highs before really looking for any big shorts. Overall daily trend is bearish alongside the four hour trend now as well. So yeah, looking for shorts on pound dollar if we do see a push up higher. So short term longs, then longer term sells. And with that said, let's over to Kiwi dollar. And Kiwi dollar, so Kiwi dollar came in towards this zone. And as we can see, see over here, clear liquidation happening and clear supply being hit. At the moment, I am pretty much waiting for a correction on Kiwi dollar because as we can see, we really have this corrective ascending price action. So once this low breaks over here, I will be looking for those shorts from supply. So yeah, that would then be a play on the daily as a daily pullback after this break of structure over here. 
So yeah, that is it for today. Not really going to look into gold as it's just boring at the moment. So I wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all soon. Thanks guys.